Anybody can catch over a 13 pound fish. Do they do it? Not very often. I'm 70, and the biggest bass I've ever caught was five pounds, and I still, to this day, am talking about it to you fellas and other people that will listen. Oh, probably five pounds, and I may have had my foot on the scale. <laughs> Catching a record black bass is a big deal. It's a trophy catch. Everybody wants to catch that fish. This is their shot at immortality in the fishing world. They're all looking for that fish. There was definitely a a uh, segment of the fishing community that was averse to accepting that a 13-year-old boy had caught the lake record. A lot of people are mad because, you know, they're grown men and they think it's embarrassing to be beat by a kid, but it's just how it goes. Grant's passion for fishing, it is an obsession. He definitely is a huge slob around the house. He leaves his fishing stuff all over the place. Grant, stop. The dog will get hooked. Stop. I knew when Grant was 12 years old that he is just a better fisherman than I am. Oh, yeah! <laughs> He has a knack. He just has a knack. Is this Grant's meal? No, well, he traded it to me because he lost my six cents. Our fishing club started with a group of friends, and we all are obsessed with fishing, but it's a certain type of fishing that we love, and that's that's called swim bait fishing. We could like see like bass's reactions, like at night, the, yeah. see what they did. Yeah. Would, like like when you drop the lure in, the and if they like, and if they like yeah. sleep. Sharks never. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think their mean. brain has potential. Lure has. What do you mean by feelings? Me and my friends are going after one type of fish, and that's a ten plus pound fish. Throw the giant baits we have, people get pretty freaked out about what's in the lake. <laughs> a lot of comments we get, are you fishing for sharks? Yeah, that's a hard bait. You know? It's just a unique thing to see kids that interested in outdoors. It's so refreshing to see that nowadays. It kind of reminds me of Huckleberry Finn. Grant's a little bit of a local legend around here. He's a local legend for throwing giant swim baits and catching giant fish. Yeah, nice. One real unique thing about this fishery is it's right in the middle of downtown Austin. It's different because you're down there and you've got maybe kayakers over here, people jogging down the side of the thing. you got people over here living in tents. <laughs> but the majority of those people aren't taking advantage of the resource that's swimming just feet below them. Tell me what you know about Grant's catch. Well, I don't know a whole lot about it, uh, except that he was fishing down on uh, Town Lake when he caught the fish. Well, obviously, I think he's very well known for catching the lake record. Everybody knows that. He knows Grant. I was taking a stroll with a friend out on the lake, and I see this kid. He was reeling in the biggest fish I've ever seen. A lot of people just straight up didn't believe him. I remember when he called me, I was just, I didn't believe him until he sent me the picture. I mean, you know that the fish that size are in there, but you don't think one of your friends is going to catch it. It was like, went from excitement to like, I was horrified that the fish was going to come off. And I started shaking and I could barely, I could barely speak. I was speechless. And I saw him pull this fish out of the water and I was 
Like, wow, this is a monster. He looks like he's having trouble holding it up. <laughs> well, it's held out rather than struggling with the weight of the fish. There were definitely the people out there who were saying, no way did this kid catch that fish. I don't have personal knowledge. I didn't see that fish. I didn't weigh that fish. And I didn't measure that fish. People online were saying that he was like holding it out or just that it wasn't that weight. They thought that was impossible for someone that young to catch the lake record. I'm too young, too scrawny to hold the fish. Those are huge animals. Yeah, some fishermen said, oh, that, that picture's been doctored. It's photoshopped. The way he's holding it, he's holding it out in front of himself so it looks bigger. Any good-spirited person would say, congratulations to you, young man. You, that's, a, that's a fine job. You did a good job. I'm impressed that anybody that young can just pull that fish in. <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot. I think people are just happy for Grant that he's able to accomplish something like that. What matters to him is catching the fish, not keeping it or proving to the world that he caught it. And I think he also has the notion that it's there for someone else to catch. You know, you catch one and that might be a fish of a lifetime. You might not ever catch another fish. And that's like Grant. He might not ever catch another fish, but he'll still be out there trying.